Good morning, everyone, and happy, happy 4th of July. I thought I would just come on today and share with you um, what I have on my face and what's on our menu today for 4th of July. First of all, I just want to say welcome, and especially if you're new to my channel, um, I'm so happy to have you. And if you like this kind of video, just this little um, kind of informal chit chat get together, um, just hit the like button and subscribe. I'd love, love, love to have you. Um, first of all, let me just say, happy 4th of July. Um, please be safe, enjoy the day, and I hope you have a lot of great sunshine. We have just had uh, like every day, rain, 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 rain. And today I woke up, the sun was shining. There's no rain in the forecast until way late tonight. So we might even be able to go and sit and watch some um, 4th of July fireworks. But be safe, enjoy your company, and hope you have good eats. So today on our menu, what we're having is um, sm smoked pork. My son smoked a pork roast um yesterday in his smoker and um, I am marinating chicken kebabs with um, pepper and onion and mushroom in a garlic brown sugar um, marinade corn on the cob and um, we're gonna have some sides of coleslaw and uh, what else are we doing mm. uh, oh and the very best southern peach cobbler. Um, I'm going to link below the website for this recipe. It is to die for. I have made many, many peach cobblers. I'm not dedicated to one particular recipe. I have made so many different recipes because there's so many out there. And I will tell you, I am going to be very hard pressed to change from this particular recipe. I found it on my Facebook. Um, I follow slow roasted Italian um, cooker, I think it's called. I will link it below. And this recipe came up and it's called, I think, um, Best Southern Peach Cobbler. It is delicious. And what was different for me in this particular recipe is after you peel and slice up your peaches and you make this concoction of um, um, uh, brown sugar and sugar and um, what else was in it? I don't think there was vanilla. No, lemon juice and mix it all up and incorporate it. You put it into your baking pan and then you bake it in the oven for 10 minutes. And it just allows those juices to just get nice and thick and then you put your topping on top of it and back in the oven. Oh, it is just divine. The breading is on the top. The top layer is just awesome. It's not too biscuity. It's not too doughy. It's not too um, bready. It's just the perfect topping. Those peaches are succulent and peaches are out now. They're delicious and it's not runny at all. It's a, It presents itself beautifully and it tastes every bit as great as it looks. So I will link that below so you can get that full recipe. Um, so that's what's on our menu. Kebabs and corn on the cob and pulled pork sandwiches and sides of coleslaw and a little macaroni and um, salad and um, great peach cobbler and vanilla bluebell ice cream right on top of it. So I hope you have a very um, safe, blessed, and a full of fun friends, fireworks, and great food for your holiday. Today on my face, what I have on, or how I put it together, is um, I am using the foundation today, um, Born This Way. I think it's an old foundation that I just came across um, not too long ago, three, couple, three months ago. I love it. I think it's great. It's by Too Faced. It's really, really nice, especially on oily days. I feel like it keeps me mad. It lasts all day. It has great coverage. I love it. So I'm wearing that today. But when I first started out, what I did was I put on my Rodent and Fields Mineral Peptide Powder. This has an SPF in it. It also has peptides in it that cut down on the redness in my skin. And um, after washing and cleaning my face and putting on my primer, I went ahead and I just let it 
air dry for two or three minutes, and then I put a sh just a very light layer, especially in my T-zone area, of powder, and just dab it a little bit on my cheeks, go around real quick, follow it with my foundation, and then after my foundation, I used um, my Tasha concealer. Um, this is relatively new. I've been using this now for, ooh, at least maybe a month now. I really like it. I think it does a great job masking um, my circles, uh, my dark circles. I, I, I really like it. I've talked about this before. It is a great product. Um, and then I have, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz on my eyebrows. And today I did um, my eyes with my Coco Mirage Tom Ford um, eyeshadow palette. Of course, you've seen this a bazillion times. I love it. It's beautiful. This I have under my eyebrows, my upper eyelids. This I have over my um, center eye, lower eyelid into the crease. And then I followed it with this darker color in the V and outer uh, V area of my eye. And I also added my Natasha Denona Mini Sunset um, shadows to it, concentrating on these two colors because I wanted just a little sparkle today. And um, these two colors are really, really pretty. And I have found that they blend beautifully with these matte colors here. Just that combination together, I think, really makes for a pretty, pretty, I would love a palette with those mixed colors in it. And um, I did go ahead and put just a teeny, teeny bit of this on, but I didn't want too much pink because I was trying to honor 4th of July with the red, white, and blue. And I discovered today that I don't really have a lot of um, costume jewelry anymore that is... Um, colorful. I have a couple of costume um, statement necklace pieces, but not in any blue or red color. It was more on the turquoise and pink, so I think I need to add a little bit of that back to my costume jewelry. And uh, so I found my dangle blue earrings. Um, these I bought at Target last summer. And, you know, I saw them in one of the Targets recently, so they still had them. But, um, you know, not a true dedicated navy blue, but nonetheless blue. And uh, my blue and white um, t-shirt um, top that I actually did purchase at Target um, just this spring. And my red lipstick and went on a hunt because I thought I need something red and I came up with my Marc Jacob and this is called um hmm <laughs> I'm searching for my glasses oh that's pretty bad this is called um Miss Scarlet and I truly love this color this is a true red this does not have a lot of orange in it. And I have to be really careful because sometimes the red have that orange undertone to it and it just doesn't do well on my um, complexion. And it's the same for clothing. I love red. I think it's beautiful, but it has to be the right color red. So back to my face then. That's how I did my eyes and then um, I followed along with my Park Avenue Princess Contour Highlighting Palette. These two colors here under my eyes to set my under eye. And I also used this little pinky here more as a highlight over towards this area in here. Um, and then I did just a slight little bronzing with this particular color that one right there just real light it looks dark but it it I just tap it off a little bit and it's perfect and then for my blush believe it or not I have this Tom Ford blush on and it's called frantic pink and it's really pretty now it looks pretty peachy but on the skin it goes on lighter and um I think because I had a little bit of this Park Avenue Princess um bronzing. Um, I didn't contour, just bronzing a little bit. And this on top of it, it kind of toned the shade down so that I felt like it matched pretty well with this shade of red. Seems odd, 
when you look at it like this, but when you look at it on the skin, it just looks like it just, it's perfect. Because of course, I don't wanna put anything bright red or daunting red on my cheeks with this bold lip. And today's a perfect day, 4th of July, red, white, and blue. So, um, I think that, oh, and then I just finished up with setting with my Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder and of course as my highlighter my uh, Chanel uh, Placé Le Mer de Chanel I show this all the time you can see how much I use it it's really worn but I still have a long ways to go with it and I love it I highlight my upper cheek a little bit on my forehead down the center of my nose and uh, just to add that little bit of gleam and uh, cleanness and then on my eyes for my mascara. I am actually today using Thrive Cosmetic Mascara, and as you can see, I'll show you the combination of the shadows. I think it is really pretty, and I know it has that little bit of um, shimmer to it, um, but I just think it complements my cheeks, and I may not have selected this color combination so much with this color lip, but I think it looks nice, and I'm happy with it. My MAC um, Fix Plus, and this is... Um, so sorry, but it's, this is my, mm. oh yes, this is the coconut. I used up all my other, and I'll just lightly spray it on. It smells so good, and it really does set uh, my makeup. It helps keep my skin um, somewhat matte. It just helps in these really hot and humid days, so. That's it, and um, I just wanted to um, remind you that I will link that um, best southern peach cobbler recipe below, and look for my next video um, because I have a versatile, awesome meat recipe that you can serve over baked potatoes for stuffed baked potatoes, nachos, hot dogs, or just eat it in a bun. I'll talk to you about where that recipe originated from, how I tweaked it to make it my own, what it originally started out um, to be used as, and how uh, this is a recipe that I have been using now for almost 20 years. It is awesome, delicious, and you'll love it. So stay tuned for that either at the end of the week or the beginning of next week. And until next time, I wish you a great 4th of July, a happy, safe, and healthy 4th of July that's filled with fun, fireworks, and food. And until next time, be kind, be humble, age gracefully, and get out your red, white, and blue, mix and match it, and just make do. Bye.